Hey soul fam, what's up, what's up, welcome back Alright, so we're going to talk about spirituality I'm going to define the term spirituality because I've realized that a lot of taboo is around the term A lot of people don't understand what spirituality is The moment you mention spirituality, they think you're talking about black magic and some type of stuff um, Dark magic is a branch of spirituality but it is not all that spirituality is about It just messed up that, that is what most people know about because you know, I don't know. Anyways, guys, um, spirituality, the term spirituality and the concept of it is it's, it, be, it is based on the whole ancient um, Egypt, well, not just Egyptian, the ancient, many ancient civilizations um, understood themselves and they had this special term that says, know thyself. You get what I say? So, spirituality, the basis of spirituality is that, know thyself. It's a self-exploration journey and from with self-exploration you eventually know yourself You get to me and say you have to explore yourself to you know yourself If I hear when some man in Jamaica say yo I find myself It's a self-exploration journey That is what spirituality is about That is what a spiritual awakening is You learning more about yourself Exploring yourself the depths The layers of yourself and going to the depth The core of yourself And understanding who you truly are at the core You know, understanding yourself from the spirit level because the basis of you, the core of you, the essence of you is the spirit you know and that's why I say yo, the spiritual awakening and spirituality it deals with you discovering, exploring, discovering and actually understanding yourself at, at the deepest levels possible you get what I say to you, so that is what spirituality really is about so, so when you see some man come with crystals you know them thing there Help you amplify energy and thing, you know, because on the whole journey of self exploration, you're gonna learn a lot. Believe me. Because remember, self is all. So, self exploration, you know, if you really and truly explore yourself properly and understand yourself, you're gonna realize that you are all. You get what I say? And now you're gonna understand the concept where they say, yo, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all else shall be added to you. You get what I say? So, once you seek, that is what the spiritual awakening journey is about. That is what spirituality, spirituality overall is about. You seeking the kingdom of Jah, which is within man, and then all else will be added to you. Believe it. You get to me? I say it might sound a little weird now, but guys, when you walk the walk, you're gonna realize all them things. You may tell you, me can't explain enough about the spiritual awakening journey to you. You can't understand it, and each each person's spiritual awakening journey is um, unique to them. You know, you can't look for the next man's spiritual awakening and think say yo, year one to look exactly the same. No, it is unique to the individual. You know, so make sure so that is the importance of you making sure that you get a calling for actually take on that journey. If you don't get a calling, don't follow nobody, man. Stick to your life and focus on the life that resonates with you. The spiritual awakening journey is not for everybody. It's not easy. It's not glam and glitter. You, just imagine, you ever, you ever read the Bible and hear about the trials and tribulations where the prophets them did have to go through? Prophets like Daniel, David, Joshua, um, Noah, all of them prophets in the Bible, you realize that in life never glam and glitter They would have to go through some extreme trials and tribulations in order to understand who they are And in order to understand Jah, because Jah is self, you know, in a, in a man Jah is, you know, Jah is no separation from man So when you hear about them journey, they have the man, the prophets, them going on journeys and them type of thing They eventually discover Jah and find Jah A self is a self exploration journey, you know, so it requires you to go it, it requires you to isolate a lot too you know this whole spiritual awakening journey you're going to have to isolate a lot of people can't even deal with isolation they, they can't stay by themselves for not even an hour an hour you know the spiritual awakening thing brother you have to go focus for yourself that, that is the only way you're going to find yourself by spending a lot of time with yourself that is the only way you're going to find yourself you know by spending a lot of time with yourself spending most of your day most of your life with yourself you know it's, a, it's all about self you know so I guess the ones, them, the people them, who believe that spirituality is demonic are the people them, who go in at the branch of spirituality that is demonic you know they go in at the they go, they go deal with witchcraft a lot of Jamaican people don't understand anything about anything yet till they want to rub up oil and powder upon themselves and indulge in a witchcraft and then when negative repercussions lick them back like the laws of um, based on the laws of karma them ball and they say oh no and they run down to church and say spirituality demonic so when you come now with the concept of spirituality they, might, they think you're demonic because it reminds them of something that they have done with fuck them up um, in the past you know if you don't understand spiritual knowledge and if you did not get a spiritual awakening and did not get a calling in life to actually take on a spiritual based life do not indulge in enough form of spirituality trust life you know i think the biggest 
the greatest spiritual thing you can actually do is trust. You know, have faith. Faith are the greatest thing you can, can develop on the spiritual journey. So just trust guys. Big up, one love.